Hi guys, coming at you with another DIY. And in this video, you're gonna see how I made this spring wreath. Here are the materials that you will need to make this project. Okay, so using a wire cutter, I'm just cutting these fake flowers that I got from Dollar Tree and Michaels. And I'm not cutting them any specific length, just enough so I can be able to wire them down to the hula hoop. So this is a hula hoop that I got from Dollar Tree and I just spray painted it gold with some spray paint that I already had from Walmart. And this jewelry wire that I'm using I also had from another project from Walmart. I don't remember how much it cost but I know it wasn't expensive. So what you see me doing here is individually wrapping the flowers to the hula hoop with the wire and I'm having some of the flowers face to the left and some face to the right. There's no specific way that I'm doing it, I'm just arranging it uh, how I like it. Alright, so now I'm about to attach these vines to the hula hoop as well using the wire. And I got these vines from Dollar Tree, I only used two for this whole entire hula hoop. And the great thing about the wire is that it just twists around itself. I would recommend getting a very thin wire so that way you don't see it when you're done with your project, you're gonna hide it behind the flowers anyway, but just in case some of it is showing, it's not obvious. So I'm just turn with twirling the vine around the whole entire hula hoop, and when I got to the end of the first vine, I connected the second vine to that, and just twirled it around again. Alright, so the way I'm arranging these flowers is different from what I did with the first bunch. I'm having, I'm putting them in my hand and I'm having some face to the right and some face to the left. And I'm arranging them all in my hand and then I decided to just wrap it around the hula hoop all at one time and then just arrange it the way I wanted it and secured it with more wire as needed. You might have some wires that are sticking out from the stems and you could just use your wire cutter to cut those off. And here's the finished product. as room decor in this picture and then the other picture is kind of like an outdoor photo booth thing. I hope you guys enjoy.